Ito na po ang ating huling PC build featuring AMD 3600. Sobrang dami na nating mga PC builds na nilabas uh, before with 3600, 3500X and uh, of course, uh, since uh, yung iba is uh, 2019 pa and uh, I want to have you an updated kahit pa ano na 2020 build of 3600 kaya po ginawa ko po ito with a deep cool matrix 50 new chassis uh, it is a chassis that is just worth uh, 1000 plus kung tutuusin pero mamaya malalaman nyo po mga kaibigan bakit uh, parang napakamura naman ng casing na yan na may tempered sa front and uh, side and it's only around uh, I think uh, 1500 the cheapest uh, worth 19,000 plus RTX 2060 Super ang pinakasulit na video card na pwede mong i-consider and of course may uh, list video card recommendation para sa isang 3600 na PC build kasi may gusto rin po kong i-address as of to date that uh, when building a PC build there are lots of considerations and of course at the end of the day it's all about the budget pero sometimes we forgot to think na parang yung video card yata is parang yun na yun na titipid It means it's for gaming. So of course, video card is uh, the go-to component dapat kung saan mapupunta yung majority ng budget mo. And ayan po yung mga i-remind ko sa inyo mga kaibigan with this PC Build AMD 3600. And of course, for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. So stay put lang kayo mga kaibigan kasi sa end ng ating video, mag-a-announce tayo ng first giveaway na CPU cooler and here we have the deep cool GTE paparaffle po natin yan mga kaibigan and agaran po kaagad mga after few days lang or I think not even 2 weeks ya announce na po natin kaagad kung sino ang uh, maswerteng nanalo ng isang bang for the buck deep cool GTE air cooler Watch a video like this PC Build Guide and then uh, try to check uh, some of uh, the videos din na in-upload natin dito sa ating channel para magkaroon ka talaga ng final uh, perspective kung ano yung gusto mong i-build, kung ano yung gusto mong uh, mabuo na rig. Now before we'll be talking about the benchmark, of course, pahapyo lang mga kaibigan, 3600 ang ating processor. So we have uh, uploaded before 3600. Uh, you may check uh, from uh, I don't know what side. Basta dyan sa taas, lalabas yung card uh, for uh, previous uh, 3600 builds or other 3500X builds na ginawa na natin before. And then for the video card, RTX 2060 Super, yan yung worth 19K plus from Zotac. It's a mini. So if we, uh, your budget is only for RX 5700, sa tingin mo or it's just for RTX uh, 2060, ngayon meron ka na pong idea kaibigan. Na you can have RTX 2060 Super which is almost on par with RX 5700 XT on some games Though inferior po talaga siya uh, sa RX 5700 XT Pero panalo pa rin siya in terms of production side So meron po tayong videos ulit dyan na nilink na pinapakita na yung RTX 2060 Super is the go-to video card kung into production tayo over the gaming side. And then of course, we have here the RX 5700 XT and the 5500 XT. Kasi ganito po yan, kung bakit nandito yung 5500 XT, which is, uh, meron ang mga nakikita mga builds na, ah, okay, uh, 3600 yung processor, and then 5500 XT yung video card, 1650 Super. Those video cards are not bad video cards. It's just that, hindi po siya terno. Hindi rin po siya bottleneck. Pero, hindi siya terno sa 3600. You're trying to avail the sweet spot processor in terms of gaming. 3600, that you can partner almost all of the video cards out there pagdating sa gaming na hindi siya mababottleneck. And of course, uh, it can run games na expected it will be at 100 plus FPS and even AAA games will be all around at 60 plus kung ganito na lang din naman yung processor mo. Iba, magkaiba kasi yung bottleneck sa hindi akma, kumbaga hindi sa terno. Okay. Anyway, let's proceed to the chassis. Kasi we have here Deep Cool trying to improve each time na magre-release sila ng bago. And what I love with Deep Cool chassis generally is uh, yung kanilang minimalist design and then a uh, tempered glass front and tempered glass side. 
at the same time, meron na siyang magandang ventilation na cutouts dito sa may front side panel. So, kung makikita mo mga kaibigan, ang mga deep cool is napaka-neutral. Minimalist, pero meron pa rin siyang good enough uh, cutouts for ventilation para sa intake sa harap. And uh, to compensate the airflow. Na it's restricted dahil nga tempered, pero meron naman siyang magagandang clearance. And then another thing na gustong gusto ko talaga sa mga deep cool chassis, budget chassis ang mga deep cool. It's like for this chassis, 1,400 lang kung tutusin yung chassis. Kasi ang price po na ito, kasama yung mga fans, is 3,400. Meron siyang kasamang tatlong fans sa harap, meron siyang isang kasama sa likod, so apat na fans yun. And a triple fan pack na CF120 is nasa 2,000 plus yan, 2,100 something. So kung apat sila, most likely nasa 2,500. Ngayon kung ilalas mo yung 2,500, dun sa total amount ng chassis, 3,400, di parang 900 pesos na lang or 1,000 pesos na lang tong casing. And etong chassis na to, it comes with thicker side panel, it comes with a, uh, better clearance, lalong-lalo na sa top, compatibility of a, uh, uh, very compatible po siya, no hassle in terms of installation of AIO sa top 240mm, 360mm naman sa kanyang front, And yan po yung mga nagustuhan ko. If you notice mga kaibigan, yung mga personal kong mga case, kung makikita nyo, naka-top mount ako ng radiator na 360, 240, and lahat po ng mga case na ginagamit ko na yan is uh, deep cool, and uh, ganito po yung itsura lagi. The Matrix 55 I have, the Matrix 70 meron din ako, and here the Matrix 50 na napaka-bang for the back. So, there are still things na masasabi ko na hindi ko na-appreciate And hopefully, ma-improve na to. Kasi akala ko noon, parang, okay, we can just overlook this part. Pero parang lately, ganun pa rin yung uh, uh, issue yung mga nilalabas nila. It's not actually an issue, pero something na lacking sa kanilang uh, case. It is the rubber grommets. So, it's uh, already a trend pagdating sa mga budget chassis. And uh, deep pull is, I think, not aware about that. So, actually, in-inform natin sila na, Ma'am, Sir, parang hindi yata ninyo... Uh, nakikita na dapat merong rubber grommets na yung mga carouts natin so clearance wise it's the best out there compared to other budget chassis uh, design for the minimalist side uh, yes good tempered glass thickness of course it's one of the thickest and then uh, clearance ng uh, air cooler maganda rin uh, carouts All are properly uh, positioned, walang hassle. Yung uh, cutouts para sa cable ng video card, cutouts para sa cable ng motherboard, everything is in the right position. And uh, lahat, terno-terno. Terno. The cage of the HDD is uh, metal. The uh, SSD mounting plates, maganda rin yung pagkakaposition. It comes with uh, uh, fans na merong controller na kung sakaling walang ARGB yung motherboard mo like we have in here, B450 Tomahawk. Actually, I'm a guy na hindi masyado in terms of uh, sync. So, I prefer this uh, kind of setup na nasuswitch mo na lang yung RGB. Kasi actually, ang issue mo, mga kaibigan, pag sinisync mo na yung uh, lightings sa motherboard, magdedepende ka na lang kung ano yung mga options sa motherboard. Like, um, maging ASUS man yan, uh, Gigabyte, MSI, magdedepende ka kung anong available na lighting activities. Unlike with Uh, the uh, uh, controller na mismong uh, uh, included sa yung mga fans or uh, sa LED strip mo you can just uh, choose so, like for this if you want na a bit more makabayan yung dating and then you can shift to this kind of uh, color scheme kung gusto mo naman ng totally RGB then eto yung uh, color scheme na susundan mo kung gusto mo ng static or nag-change colors lang pwede mo itong piliin then just configure your uh, other components accordingly dito sa uh, fans like uh, you can just use the mystic light for the uh, ram uh, for the uh, motherboard yun na lang yung gagawin mo so hindi lahat ng bagay kailangan mong isink kaya yung mga namumroblema dyan sa pagsisink sa motherboard actually wag kayong masyadong mumroblema dyan it's good to sync everything to your motherboard uh, para lahat uh, minsanan na pero you're missing some uh, uh, options in terms of lighting activity. Like for example, with me, kung makikita nyo yung nagre-reflect lagi sa mga chassis na nire-review ko, yung purple and gold, 
uh, hindi mo yun magagawa using the motherboard sync. You should uh, uh, manually configure that. Overall, this Matrix 50 is one of the go-to chassis. It's better than the Matrix 55 so far in terms of uh, design. The Matrix 55 just comes with this uh, kind of uh, LED, acrylic uh, LED to get a uh, better advantage over the Matrix 50. Pero uh, in terms of uh, a chassis na minimalist ang design and looks, I think this is the go-to chassis as of today. Na napakamura na rin. May kasama na siyang 4 fans and uh, at the same time, the price is uh, so affordable. So sa mga kasamahan natin dyan na uh, nagbabalak bumili ng casing, you may consider having this Matrix Safety. Okay, so wala na masyadong paligoy-ligoy mga kaibigan. Let's go kagad sa ating benchmark. Of course, uh, isa sa mga bagay na hindi ko masyadong na-address lately is the power consumption. Ano naman ang uh, power consumption ng ating 3600 with an RTX 2060 Super. Yan po yung una nating i-feature mga kaibigan. It is running at 70 watts pag idle, 75 watts pag idle. And then sa part naman ng rendering mga kaibigan for the CPU ang medyo nabubugbog, it is at around 120 watts. And then of course, in terms of uh, both CPU and GPU intensive applications na both uh, component are uh, uh, stressed up to the uh, maximum potential, we are having a 275 average power consumption. Okay, so let's go first to the uh, scope ng uh, pinaka-topic talaga natin ngayon, which is uh, what is the cheapest uh, recommended setup na pwede kong gawin with a 3600. Kung baga pinakasulit, ano ba yung pinakasulit na pwede mong i-build with a 3600? And I think the pinakasulit that uh, you can do is the Ryzen 5 3600 and an RTX 2060 Super at 19,000 plus. Kasi makikita naman natin mga kaibigan that this Zotac uh, RTX 2060 Super is running at a decent FPS like any other RTX 2060 Super. Pero kahit pa paano, the uh, cooling solution is good enough naman. 75 uh, degree Celsius ang uh, running temperature natin together with the uh, processor. It is also fairly at a uh, 75 uh, plus uh, temperature. We are testing this with one of the most CPU and GPU intensive game na Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone. So ayan makikita nyo mga kaibigan in real world. It comes with a decent cooling and of course the VRM uh, is uh, sitting down at a 50 plus uh, temperature which is uh, given na po yan dahil we are using the B450 Tomahawk. And then if you will be going naman mga kaibigan sa part na ano yung pinakamura like for example nagtitipid ka and uh, still you want a 3600 pero kahit pa paano naman is a uh, reasonable na piliin mong uh, video card then you may go for the RX 5600 XT pero eto mga kaibigan uh, I don't have the GTX 1660 Super I may advise that too pero going beyond that or below that RX 5500 XT 1650 Super those are a good video card if partnered with the right processor at a budget uh, uh, position or standpoint. Pero if you are choosing these uh, video cards to partner it with a 3600, I think you are losing a big part of a gaming experience which is eto nga mga kaibigan. The graph won't lie, benchmark won't lie mga kaibigan. The RX 5500 XT is way behind the recommended video cards na sinabi ko kanina. RX 5600 XT is kakait pa paano, medyo dumidikit pa sa RTX 2060 Super. Now, the RTX 2060 Super is uh, a little behind sa RX 5700 XT. I mean, the part, yung distance ng FPS difference, yung difference ng FPS, hindi ganun kalayo compared sa RX 5500 XT compared sa ating RX 5600 XT. And eto nga mga kaibigan yung sinasabi ko kanina, na sometimes we are forgetting na yung budget natin is dapat mailaan sa video card because video card in the end of the day is the major player pagdating sa ating gaming experience. Yes, I'm not trying to tell mga kaibigan that you can overlook your motherboard, your processor, your RAM, Pero mga kaibigan, when you are trying to invest for a gaming PC, the fact na it's a gaming PC mga kaibigan, it should be the video card where the 60% of the budget or even the uh, 40 or 50% of the budget 
mapupunta. Kumbaga, uh, majority ng budget natin. So, paano nga ba pumili na isang video card? The best thing kasi mga kaibigan in choosing video cards talaga is parang walang specific blueprint. Uh, there are some considerations depende sa budget and that is really uh, the uh, bottom line of everything. Kahit ano pang pag-uusapan natin dito, kahit ano pa yung mga i-recommend ko mga kaibigan, if the budget is a concern, talagang medyo masisira lahat yung discarte natin or yung mga recommendation natin. Like for example, I'm trying to recommend you the Tomahawk, pero hindi talaga kaya ng budget. And uh, uh, if in case we will be going for the Tomahawk, ang mabibili mo lang is most likely 5500 XT. So how will I work out that part? Ngayon, ang gagawin natin, let's go for the 3500 X. If you will be going for the 3500X, kahit pa paano, you can uh, save at least 3,000, nakasave ka ng 3,000, and then uh, add that sa budget ng 5500X team mo kanina, na around uh, most likely, sabihin na lang natin 10,000, so naging 13,000 na, 1660 Super na yon. Ngayon, for me, hindi pa rin ako contento sa 1660 Super. I think there are still some components that I can compromise in here, the RAM. I may just settle with the 8 gig muna. Kasi meron naman akong 4 slot eh. And once na I want to add more RAM in the future, I don't need to dish out uh, any of the components inside. Bibili lang ako ng additional RAM, isasalpa ko. And yes, I have now a higher RAM of uh, 16 gig. Unlike if uh, ang gagawin ko is I uh, will be going for the 1660 Super, then after one month, sasabihin ko na mag 5600 XT ako, poproblemahin ko ngayon yung 1660 Super. Paano ko siya ibebenta? Of course, the best thing that I can do now para hindi mangyari yon is I go and compromise the RAM. So, 8 gig muna yung RAM. And then, uh, of course, makakasave ako ng around uh, 3,000 ulit. Kasi nga, 3,600 yung RAM ko. So, kung 3,000 plus 13,000, 16,000 na yun, makakabili na ako ng 5,600 XT. Ngayon, kung gusto ko pang mag RTX 2060, meron pa akong paraan. 16K na yung pera ko, I can just uh, teka lang, tanggalin muna natin yung uh, air cooler. Aanhin ko yung stock cooler kung hindi ko muna siya gagamitin temporarily, di ba? Kasi sa totoo lang mga kaibigan, there's no perfect advice, there's no perfect build. Kasi budget po ang nagdedictate kung ano yung magiging path ng uh, pag-build mo ng PC. So budget may uh, lead you the uh, best uh, na discarte. So pinaka way talaga mga kaibigan, before you build is you need to watch uh, a lot of uh, PC build samples. Uh, have a knowledge in terms of uh, building PC, mag-seek ka ng mga advice kasi yung mga sinabi ko rin kanina hindi mo rin marirealize gawin yon, or hindi mo rin siya may execute ng maayos kung kulang ka rin naman sa knowledge. So, so the best thing is to seek advice kasi uh, kahit nagtanong ka sa mga pinakamagaling kung nataon na puyat yun, kung pinagtatanungan mo pwedeng mali yung mga advice sa sa'yo so ayun, makakompromise yung uh, build mo kaya the best is uh, if uh, you can ask more than 2 to 3 people ng advice, mas maganda para at least you can come up with a uh, uh, kahit paano magandang conclusion and yes of course, this is our uh, PC build 3600, a review or a redo so hindi ko na masyadong dinetalye ang ating uh, 3600 dahil Uh, ito is uh, parang kumbaga update lang po and just a few tips and advice and additional informations in building your PC and of course more specific sa pagbibuild ng isang Ryzen 5 3600 with uh, different video cards that I recommend here the 2060 Super which is the sweetest spot as of now at a 20k uh, budget video card and then 5600 XT as the least uh, video card that you may consider with 3600 and 5700 XT as one of the recommended choice na pwede mong i-consider. And uh, yes, hindi rin natin uh, pwedeng uh, baliwalain yung 5700 and RTX 2060. Uh, those are also good choice na video cards na pwede natin i-consider. Yun nga lang, as of now, wala kasi akong uh, samples para kahit paano ma-demo ko sa inyo mga kaibigan ang ating 2060 at saka 5700. Pero the fact that they are positioned between 2060 Super and 5700 XT and uh, 5600 XT, then uh, it's considered already na itong mga video cards na 2060 at saka RX 5700 are good choice for a 3600 uh, uh, processor. Alright, so in terms of the giveaways mga kaibigan, of course napaka simple lang po ang gagawin natin. I-check po natin yung pin post sa ating comment section. Nandyan po yung guide kung paano yung gagawin natin para masumali sa deep cool uh, giveaways. Pero of course, feel free to subscribe. And then uh, like this video, comment down below anything, 
and uh, yes also follow our uh, facebook page nandiyan po lahat ko ano yung mga requirements and there you will have a chance to win deep cool gte air cooler uh, all the way from uh, deep cool headquarters so hindi po natin on hand yung item it's just uh, parang kumbaga support ng deep cool sa atin dahil uh, kahit paano nag-grow na tayo and yes uh, that's it mga kaibigan thank you so much for joining us again and yes keep posted dahil maraming mga lalabas we will be having the uh, intel uh, 10th gen uh, build by may 15 and uh, more builds and um, reviews will come in the next few days abangan nyo mga kaibigan how to reformat coming up next <music>